All right, first thing we're gonna do here, I wanna get it out of the garage here. I had to bring it home. I had to bring it home for a little bit, clear some room in the shop to get some other things out of there, through the shop or whatever. Well, so now we just got a couple of things. Um, we gotta put a battery back in it. Had to borrow it for another project. Um, I've got the air filter, just uh, rubber grommet on it. It was so cold, I couldn't get it to slip over the end. Uh, Got to put something on there temporarily. Power steering fluid leaks out of the box. So you had to get that filled up. And then also the transfer case has no oil in it. So we're going to get that filled up with ATF. Need to torque the lug nuts down. So never done that. And then uh, inside the cab, I'm gonna get the transmission tunnel cover on there. And then we're gonna drive this. I've got a little over a mile to go to get it back to the shop. So hopefully we've got taillights and stuff like that. I've never driven this more than I don't know, a couple hundred feet. So we'll get a battery in here, get it pulled out so we can get into the light and then we'll get after it. Yeah, I've only got one good battery right now. So I've been pulling it between that GMC I polished up and that high boy I got running. So just kind of been swapping it around a lot. So we'll get it back in here and hopefully it can stay in here for a while. Hope I got the right size. get a lot of not necessarily in comments but in real life get a lot of people coming coming at me saying oh you ruined the truck putting an ls in it well you guys will have to let me know what you think did i ruin this truck putting an ls in it because realistically this truck was probably headed towards the scrapyard before i got it didn't run very well when I got it with the original for uh, had a 400 M in it with the uh, M435 I believe it was four speed manual you know but I want to drive it get it back on the road and drive it so let me know in the comments if you tell me did I ruin it or is this a worthwhile upgrade so, well, now we got the battery in, let's fire it up and pull it out.
so bad. It looks good in the sun. It's too bad it's at least a 50 footer. I don't know if you can see it. Where somebody put wheel arch panels in right over top of the old metal. Both sides. But at least there's an arch there. This side is all hammered. And of course, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The entire paint job is fish eyes. Like the entire thing. So it's by no means a perfect truck or anywhere close. warm up a little bit and then we'll get started all right let's get this transfer case filled up well, looks like I left those nice and loose for myself tighten that drain plug See if we can't pump this in. Oh, I just got picked up one of these pumps for a gallon jug. Let's see how this works. That's not so bad. It was like six bucks for the pump, but trying to battle around the exhaust and all that, but this didn't seem worth it. stop pumping. Oh, I hope the hose didn't come off the inside. It goes to the bottom. Which I'm willing to bet that it did. That's a bummer. Yep, the hose fell off in the bottle. Let me grab the other one that it came with. Won't reach 
reach the bottom, but it's better than nothing. I don't even know how much this takes. I figure it can't possibly take more than a gallon. Four quarts or whatever. But when I got this engine and transmission combo in another project, uh, the gentleman had told me it was from a 2001 Suburban, which had an electronic transfer case. So this is out of something else. So I'm glad I checked it because when I drained it, there was hardly anything in it. But this short drive I'm going to do, it'll be a good way to make sure we've got all, all the gears and the transmission and see if we've got any vibrations from driveline angle, being that this driveline's out of a Oh, is it a Chevy half ton pickup? Might be an inch or so too short, too, but it's going to work for now. We're on a budget here. I think we're just about there. Overfill it a little bit. Hopefully I didn't damage it just backing it off the trailer when I brought it here. Because I didn't drive it here. I towed it here on my trailer. and I had every intention of hauling it back like that, but right now my trailer's full. And we've got a good bit of snow coming tomorrow. and I want my daily driver truck inside. As soon as you get a foot of snow in the bed of your truck, especially and use it for work, then you can't find anything. All right, get this cleaned up and then we'll move on to the next thing. All right, I'll fill up the power steering. It said the, the steering gearbox leaks, and yeah, there's nothing on there. I do, we will be switching that gearbox uh, for another one I have off a parts truck. Hopefully that one's much better. goes yeah that should be good enough to get us back to the shop like i said my shop's only uh, a little over a mile so we'll get the torque wrench out and we'll torque down the lug nuts and then uh you know i know some people say they can torque stuff with their impact and you know I agree with most things but I don't take a chance with the lug nuts so I'll grab that stuff and we'll do that quick 
All right, so now let's move on. We'll get the transmission tunnel cover back on. We'll do a little sheet metal work to um, plug those holes up. You know, obviously this isn't gonna be super airtight by any means, but just for the drive and progress, you know. So we get the camera set up and then we'll go about it. All right. That in there. You know, obviously I don't uh, need this hole anymore. So we'll have to get that welded up, get a patch in there. I've got another cover for an automatic but the side's all rusted out here, so it's either fix a rust hole or fix that hole. So, I'll have to see which one's probably easiest. But I'd imagine a flat piece of sheet there is gonna be the easiest way to go. I mean, this truck's probably all gonna be coming back apart at some point. And you know, I got another cab that's in a lot better shape still needs work but better i think i got some fenders they're quite a bit better shape i would just rather have the rest and on the fenders and whatnot than have the truck six different colors you know Maybe in the next winter or something, tear it all apart. Um, I know I need to rip the box off, which may not be too far out. Take the box off and then uh, probably, you know, get some of the rust off the frame and paint the frame up a little bit. And, I need to put a different sending unit in the fuel tank. Um, I tried to modify the pump to accept the 77 Ford fuel sender to work with the factory gauges. Well, that didn't go well. So I think I'm going to put the 95 F-150 sender back into it and then get a gauge to match that one. Um, still not sure what I'm doing for gauges, but we'll cross that bridge later. But we'll get this tightened down. And then we'll cover these holes up. All right, well now let's cover these holes up. Um, I don't have a four-wheel drive shifter rigged up or even a single clue on how I'm going to do that yet. Um, but that'll probably only matter once I get the front drive shaft in and uh, we're still going to pull the front, whole front axle out of this and uh, rebuild, rebuild that with all new seals and stuff like that because it's been sitting so long the seals are just dry. Get some new U-joints in the axle shafts. But anyway, got some roll sheet metal here. It's gonna just cover these holes up for now. I don't have any door gaskets, weather stripping on the doors yet. So I just, you know, it's, I wanna say 15 degrees here today. Let's try to minimize some of the cold blowing on me. Maybe you don't get splashed so much by the foot of snow we got at the end of the week this past week. If I can even come on peel and stick sheet metal. This, you know, this is just, it's got some serious adhesive on it.
Yeah. You know, this is just uh, tape for duct work in your house. Um, I use it for pretty much a lot of different things besides duct work in a house. Um, My day job is working on semi trucks and people call me and says, Hey, I got a hole in my roof, you know, because people unloading these tra semi trailers like to lift their forks and their forklifts so high, they just send the top of the forklift through the roof of the trailer. Um, so I go out there with some of this and I've got some other aluminum panels that have uh, giant sheet of double stick tape on the back. Put those on and I surround it with this stuff and it at least gets them loaded again. Because they can't get loaded if the roof leaks. Yeah, this stuff pretty much sticks to anything. on that hole. Look at that, brand new. You can almost call that restored. Nope. Cover up this other hole, and then uh, might uh, might have my wife come out here and help me bleed some brakes. I got front brakes, but I never bled the back brakes out. You know, not that it ever had them. You know, since I don't know the eighties. I got all new parts back there, but, you know, sometimes I work by myself, so sometimes it's hard to get to some of these things by yourself. I mean, I've done it. So I had your broom stick against the seat and the brake pedal and a little by little. And it does work, you know, done properly, I guess, if you could call it that. But some of this stuff will just be going back over. I just got to have the time and the budget. And work has been slow. This year, normally February is my busiest month, but it just has not been very cold compared to previous years. Previous years, we uh, probably hit minus 20, um, you know, a bad year, it'd stick there for two weeks, and I'll be out on the road going constantly, changing fuel filters and thawing out frozen trucks. And, and when I say trucks, I mean semi-trucks. There, brand new. All right, uh, probably get some. There's the old, uh, down here, there's the old 
pole for the old clutch rod. Um, get some over that so I'm not getting some wind blowing up my skirt. And then, uh, probably should put some gas in it. Don't know how much I put in when I put the tank in and don't know how much is left. So, I'm going to put some tape over that clutch hole and then we'll go from there. All right, well, we're ready to go. Got everything checked, checked the lights. We'll go see how, it, see how it does. Didn't get a chance to bleed the brakes. Didn't have any uh, brake fluid with me. So they kind of work. So I got uh, my Terminator X screen here. So we can watch all the vitals. see if I can manage to keep most of the salt off this thing before it completely falls apart you know they salt these roads heavy you know in a snowy climate I don't really agree with the amount of salt they use like it's winter learn how to drive in the snow No, when does this thing when does the terminator x start learning i think it was like 160 degrees coolant temp something like that we'll see what it does that's not so bad definitely gets up and going I got the gear indicator on there so I can make sure we're hitting all the gears. I saw fourth gear. I don't think we're gonna see much of that on the way to the shop here. Even says 19 miles of the gallon. Who knows if that's anywhere in here accurate. The door's rattling like crazy here. My camera's shaking like crazy too. past the sheriff we'll see if they follow it after me I don't have any plates we'll just keep going hope for the best looks good oil pressure seems fine
mean, on the way to my shop, the highest speed is 35 miles an hour, so it's not really the greatest test ever. Steering's not super loose. That's kind of surprising. It's got that Y-Link tie rod scenario on there. So I think it's towed in a little bit. Because that 400M, 435 combo is way heavier than the 5.3. So it doesn't squat down as much. We'll be switching that over to uh, you know where it's actually got the tie rod goes wheel to wheel and then a drag link that goes down to that tie rod. That's what they had in '78. And that's the better setup. Not too bad. I am excited to get this a little bit more done. I've got the weather stripping for the doors, but we'll see if we get that on sooner. I just don't want to drive this in all the salt too much. So, and no, it'll be good when to get the front axle rebuilt. Just want to make sure all the bearings and stuff are good, so. this truck already. You know, it kind of does some tuning and this and that. We'll see if it's been a little bit. Maybe we'll try that again here. I'm sitting still. It's only a one wheel wonder so. And there's no brakes. That's not so bad. But you better park it now before they, you know, somebody shows up. not out in the country you don't get away with these things anymore maybe 20 years ago all right well i'm gonna get it parked here it's, uh, this is mainly just to get ready for the snow coming tomorrow they're saying it's either going to be rain you know, when it's this cold rain and snow are about the same thing so i think it was a good first test drive Catch you guys on the next one.